technology allowed the farmers to know the environment of their farm. Life Fresh Farm hypothesized that their crops do not receive adequate amount of light. In June, when most of the time the weather is sunny, the supplementary LED light requirement will be lesser. However, in the month of December, where most of the time we experience cloudy or rainy weather, we will know that the sun reaching into the farms are lesser, so definitely we will need more supplementary LED light for the plant to grow. Based on stimulation and modelling, our calculation shows that they only need one to one and a half hour of supplementary LED light for the plant to grow at optimum rate. So this converts to about 70% of energy saving to reduce the operation cost in the farm. In today's day and age, agri-tech has reached a point where it is more science than it is actual hardcore farming. We work together with ASTAR to understand how lighting can help a farm in our setting and in our context. And ASTAR was able to do a study using numerical analysis and simulation to come up with a recipe that is uniquely suited to us. And through that, we found that we could not just save energy costs by 70%, but we could also increase yields by 10%. And all this is very, very relevant in today's time when energy prices continue to go up. For a country like Singapore, where resources are scarce, especially land, so LiveFresh reducing more output from the same set of land is really what we're focusing on. I think these kind of productivity enhancements are very, very key if Singapore has to achieve its 30 by 30 goals.